Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com hourly analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for Tuesday, October the 12th, 2010. Well, when we left off yesterday, we were trading down below the cloud, so we had a bearish breakout down below the cloud. Uh, the market found very, very strong support down uh, around the 96, 96 region. We can see here previously that uh, we had the market finding resistance in that area, and obviously that resistance has now turned into support. It turned into support around this region here, failed to hold around here where the cloud had its influence acting as uh, support. But once again, over uh, this uh, last uh, trading session, the market found support around here as well. So we can see the shadows on the bottom of these candles as the market was trading down there, representing indecisive trading, and the bears were losing commitment as the market traded down around these areas. Uh, the trend did end up uh, changing to the upside here with a very bullish candle, which is a good sign that the market was going to uh, rally. We did have a bit of a worry here with the market trading up through the cloud. The cloud offers uh, not only support but resistance. And here we can see that um, the area did act as support. The market attempted to trade outside there with a small green body candle. And then the sellers came in and attempted to close the market down below the cloud but the market actually found support within the cloud here where it failed to close outside of the cloud. We then ended up with a bullish uh, breakout up above the uh, cloud here and a close up above which is a bullish signal. So a bullish signal from 97.64. Uh, the market then uh, began trading in a, 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 um, a second time frame uptrend where we had a series of higher peaks and higher troughs and uh, continues to trade up uh, above the cloud, so uh, quite a good uh, signal there. We also had the market trading up above the Kijinsen Tenkinsen, which is uh, uh, means that the market's bullish in the medium term and fast term timeframes as well. And we ended up with a crossover, a bullish crossover of, of the Tenkinsen above the Kijinsen. Now that occurred within the cloud, so it was a neutral signal. The strongest signals are those that occur above the cloud, the weakest are those that occur below the cloud, and the neutral ones are those that occur within the cloud. So uh, we did have that on a fairly uh, bullish candle, and uh, we'll see if the market can uh, go on with it. A lot of this trading that we've seen here is only fairly indecisive trading, fairly small-bodied candles, so uh, that does raise some doubt as to whether the market will continue trending up. Previously here we can see strong downside price rejection, the shadow on the top, and certainly up around the levels around uh, 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 roughly 98.41 there was good uh, selling coming in. We can see the uh, shadows on the top of these candles here and fairly indecisive trading up around these levels. So uh, if the market does continue rallying, then obviously that's an area that we should be watching as resistance around 98 all the way up to 98.41. Uh, to the downside, though, we do have very strong support offered by the cloud. So uh, even though we have an indecisive candle at the moment, which is not uh, quite complete, um, then the market may find uh, support anywhere from 97.86 down through to 97.32. And certainly the areas around the Kijinsen and Tenkinsen, which are trading at 97.81 and 97.50 at the moment, will offer support as well. Now, if we do end up with another breakout down below the cloud, then there is uh, fairly strong support offered all the way down here through to uh, roughly 97, where we have this highlighted area of previous uh, support. So uh, there is very good strong support down below for this market, uh, decent uh, resistance up above, uh, and that extends all the way up to 99 uh, from uh, previous trading. So... Uh, we uh, really do need to watch these areas. Uh, they are important for the market uh, and it's trading over the next few days.